This is about Clark. What about her? She's being hunted. By who? By everyone. I think Clark's demons were always going to catch up with her. She's known as one Heda, the commander of death. She's had to kill time and time again, obviously mass killing at times. You knew when you let this happen. But it's always been in the service of doing the right thing for her people. I have to save them. <sighs> Clark's grown immensely since the first episode of season one. She was a little girl, really. Mom? What's going on? You're being sent to the ground. She was just as scared as everyone else, but someone had to step up and take the lead, and she did that really well. We need to get to Mount Weather. The longer we wait, the hungrier we'll get, and the harder this'll be. She's a survivor, you know? Nothing's gonna kill Clark. <laughs> She's learned how to fight, she's learned how to kill, and she learns even more in the three months that we're away how to survive. At the beginning of season three, Clark is running away from her emotions. Surviving to her is a much easier way of living than actually dealing with what she's done. Not seen discipline. Our grounder name for Clark is One Head Out. One Hedda is the ultimate commander. No one Hedda. Clark gets dragged back into the grounder world quite abruptly <laughs> um, and is faced with Lexa again. Hello, Clark. She becomes a bargaining chip in this bigger stakes political struggle between the Ice Nation and Lexa and Tree Crew. Honor our deal. I'll honor our deal when your queen honors my coalition. She feels the responsibility to bring peace because that's just who she is. You said there were new terms. We become the 13th clan. I think the bond between Lex and Clark is kind of amazing. Clark's drawn to her because of her strength and her humanity, which is something that I suppose she sees in herself as well. What kind of leader do you want to be? The kind who kills every chance she gets because that's your way? Or the kind who shows the world a better way? Clark is my hero. She's changed a lot, obviously, from the time that we met her. But at the same time, that strength that we see in her now was always there. That's something that Eliza brings, I think, naturally to the role as well. The most rewarding thing about playing Clark is being able to play a strong female character. I wouldn't be killing you for what you've done. I'd be killing you for what I've done. It's been just such a great honor to play someone with strength and integrity and great responsibility. Juice no drink, juice no.